Okay, guys, I'm sorry to report that Herring 8-5 Mania continues at Sutter Smoke headquarters. Let me show you what's going on here. All right, so I got on the screen here the computer. I've already discussed, probably ad nauseum, the problems re revolving around um, Q5, the Q5 pattern on the board and the winding of the transformers, a long, sad story. But anyway, uh, I want to take a look at another problem this morning, and that is this year capacitor. Look at that. These are the audio amplifiers, Q3, Q4. Okay, a 10 microfarad cap carries the audio across, but boom, look at that, boom. Why do they have that 10 microfarad cap right there to ground? That'll really kill audio performance. So I suspected that, that was a mistake. In the receiver that I built back in 2014, I just clipped that thing out. As soon as I clipped it out, as soon as I cut that lead on the capacitor, the uh, receiver sprang to life and it was no longer deaf and it was great. So that was my first indication that something was wrong here. But when I started scrutinizing the uh, this article again, I took a look here, look. Look here at the PC board pattern that caused so much heartache in other areas, all right? But here you can see there are, there is one 10 microfarad cap from the emitter to ground, Q3, that's good. There's one 10 microfarad cap that carries the signal from the collector of Q3 to the base of Q4. That's that's good. There's not a third one in there. Oops, it's not there. It's on the schematic, but it's not in there. Now look here, one other clue. There's a picture that comes along with the QST article. And I looked in and I zoomed in and everything else. It's hard to see it here. But you look up, if you look up here in the audio amplifier area, you could see one and two, two electrolytics, two, two will look like 10 microfarad electrolytics up in here, but not a third. So it's not in the picture either. Anyway, I want to show you something I did over here. Look, this is the, um, this is the Herring 8-5 board that I picked up at Winterfest in um, March 2023 of this year. I didn't even know what it was, but it, it um, I opened it up, and as soon as I saw the PC board pattern, I knew that we were dealing with a, um, a Herring 8-5 that somebody had built. I don't know who built it, but whoever it was managed to overcome the problems with the winding sense of this transformer. Also, they replaced the uh, Radio Shack transistor with an MPF-102, which made the oscillator work. The, uh, the, the PC board pattern was correct if you used an MPF-102, but not if you used the recommended R Radio Shack's uh, uh, transistor. They also used a Radio Shack transistor at Q1, which is the RF amplifier, but they realized that they had to switch the, the leads around because the pattern was wrong for an MPF-102, so they switched it around and got it in there correctly. They overcome these, these problems, but they did not overcome the problem with the capacitor in the audio frequency amplifiers. That's what I have here. The, you'll see they have three here. One, two, three. Three 10 microfarad caps. That's one too many. <laughs> and that's, that's the way I built it the first time, and then I clipped it out. So listen to this. It's working pretty well now. I got it running off a little kind of anemic 9-volt battery here. And I can tune a little bit here. Look, I got a little, little pot here. This thing's supposed to work into only a headphones, but I got on a little speaker that came with it. It's okay. But now look, here I've, I've clipped out this second 10 microfarad to cap the ground but I could still make contact. Watch what happens when I put the contact in there. Boom. You could barely hear the CW. Turn up the gain here a bit. Turn up the max audio gain. Could barely hear it, but watch when I take it off. Here, hold on. Boom. See what comes back to life.
Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Man. They put an extra capacitor in there. Anyway, it's kind of fun to get to the bottom of this thing. It explains why so many of us had problems with this receiver. There were a lot of problems with the schematic in the article. But um, anyway, better late than never. We got it squared away. Uh, 7-3 from Northern Virginia.